first thing that we want to do is disconnect the battery. We will need to use a 10 millimeter deep socket. Make sure that the steering wheel is straight. Next, we want to remove the left cover on the steering wheel. It's held down by two Phillips screws. So after you remove the cover, remove this red piece. Next, we want to disconnect this from here. Using this red piece from earlier, we want to cover up this plug. That way, it will prevent the accidental triggering of the SRS system. Next, we will need to use this Torx Star tool. This is a size 30. And this will be used to remove this screw here and this screw down here. If possible, use this setup to remove the Torx screws. Carefully remove this plastic piece. It's just clipped on. So after we remove the cover, there will be one more Torx screw to remove right here and then we can remove the airbag. After we remove three Torx screws, it should be easy to remove the airbag system, as you can see. All right, so next we want to disconnect the SRS, horn, and the cruise control. In order to remove the steering wheel from the car, we will need to remove this nut right here it's a 19 millimeter. So with the nut removed, we can just slide the steering wheel off, as like so. Now with the steering wheel off, we will need to remove this cover here. There's three three screws, one here, here, and here. With this cover tilted down, we will need to remove this cover. There are six screws, one here, one here, one here, one here, one up here, and one right here. With the lower cover off, now we need to remove this reel. In order to do that, we need to remove four screws. There's one here, one here, and then there's one up here, it's hidden. So you can remove this cover off, or if you're careful enough, you can get into that one. Alright, next we want to remove this screw here, as well as this screw here. All right, so we will also need to remove this screw here. As well as this screw back here. We need to remove this cover down here. There's one screw here and then one screw at the other end here so now with this cover down we will need to disconnect this harness right here so now with the cable reel disconnected we will need to disconnect it from back here and you can use either a plier or just get a flat head and press against the sides and it will come right out. Here's the harness that we need to focus on. In order to uh, disable the SRS light from popping up, we will need to connect a wire here at pin 4 to here, pin 6. Next, we will need to connect a wire here to the custom piece that we will need to create in order to get the horn to work. Here's a custom metal piece that I made in order for the horn to work. But before I made that, I created this. Um, this uh, mock-up, just to make sure that it works and it fits. And this piece here, um, you can purchase it. Uh, it's a thin sheet of metal. You can purchase it at Home Depot. And make sure it's not the aluminum one, because aluminum doesn't conduct electricity. And so, with this piece... Um, the measurements are, it's about three and a half inches tall, and for the width, it's about seven eighths of an inch, and then the distance from here to here, it's about three eighths of an inch, 
and then the distance from the edge to this hole is about 5 sixteenths of an inch and similar down here it's about uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch and then the distance between this hole and this hole is around 2 inches and 29 over 30 seconds of an inch and so we will have to drill this hole out and then we'll have to cut down here until stop around here and then after that you have to bend this piece so that it touches the back of the hub and then you have to make sure you have to fiddle around with it for a bit in order for it to um, work so here's the final product you need to play with this arch here and for these holes I would suggest using a smaller drill bit like a pilot drill bit and then use a dremel to to enlarge the hole otherwise you may end up with these crease marks as shown because I used a smaller drill bit and then I increased it to a bigger one and then because this is a thin sheet of metal it's very easy to bend you also need to create these two wires um, so the short one here it'll be to jump the ABS so that you won't get a um, ABS light you will connect that into the yellow harness uh, pin number four and pin number six and then for the longer wire this end goes to pin number one on the yellow harness and this end will connect here so as you can see here's the custom uh, metal piece for the horn um, so this line goes down and then it connects to the yellow harness down here into the number one pin and then again you'll need to adjust this to make sure that it touches the back of the hub so here's the metal piece and the hub from a side view and as you can see when I slide it it, it touches it so it looks like it's making good contact make sure that you apply a little bit of grease up here uh, between the contact point that way it'll keep it quiet alright so insulation is pretty much um, self-explanatory once you put the hub on make sure this arrow that says top points up and then you want to get the steering wheel and just place it on here just to make sure that it's aligned because if it's off by one tooth the steering wheel will be either this way, like slanted, or the other way. So first we want to put this nut back on and then torque down the spec. So we want to torque down that nut to around 80 foot-pounds of torque. And then using this ring, place it on top of the hub like so. Make sure that all the holes are aligned. Next, place the steering wheel on top of the hub like so. The next step is to connect this plug here to the horn and then push the horn in.